Hey guys, Andrew here. I'm trying for like the seventh time to record this video. Um, <laughs> hopefully this time it works. I am right in the middle of the 2.2 to 2.4 intake swap. Um, the original L61 small runner 2.2 intake. I've swapped it out, or going to swap it out here for the big runner 2.4. Uh, scored this at a pick apart yard. Um, just decided to do it. Um, is it a good idea on a stock engine street car? Probably not. Um, the built L61 guys and LE5 guys, you're going to gain big if you're spinning it. Um, Garrett just did a big intake uh, test on all these, on, on a 2.2 car. His was a built L61 car. Um, and it was really nice to see the proof in the pudding on what some of these intakes make. Um, I decided to do it anyways. We're going to go for it and see what it actually gains here. Um, I'm going back to the dyno February 7th to back it up. Um, the last time we went, we tested his PCM, which is a mail order tune. Um, picked up, I believe, it was 17 horse. 17 horse and 16 foot-pounds of torque. Um, it's at uh, 142 horsepower at the tires and 153 foot-pounds of torque. That's on a fourth gear pull, one-to-one -one in a transmission. Um, so we're going to see what it gains with this intake. I know when Garrett did his intake test, he was using a round track car, which had a built L61 in it. Um, and they were spinning it quite a bit higher. I know they spun their car to like 73 or 7,400. Um, most of your stock L61s, stock head port, stock cam, I see they, they make peak power at like 5,800, around 5,800. Um, this did pull a little bit better and a lot smoother with his PCM in it. Um, but I don't really know what the restricting factor is in these cars from the factory. I don't know if it's the intake manifold or the head port or the cams. So we're going to test it um, and see what it gains. I know during his testing, he actually lost about five horse from like 4,500 under. But above that, it gained really big. The 2.2 intake fell off fast, and the 2.4 did not. So um, we're going to do that. Um, this is just an internally untouched stock L61 2.2. Uh, it's got his tune, a pace setter LSJ header, a full mandrel bent 2.5 inch exhaust, and a polyurethane upper and lower mounts. So what I did want to show you was this motor runs really well. I've never had any problems with it. It doesn't consume oil doesn't blow smoke or anything but these ports and i and i already have done some cleaning on them are absolutely disgusting look at how much oil and carbon deposits are built up down in these intake ports i mean and this is after quite a bit of cleaning that's just cylinder four and we'll go to cylinder two here is really bad as well um i can't believe it um how bad they are i've always said i've always said to everybody with a good fresh stock rebuild, you can pick up 10 to 20 horse on a chassis dyno. I've seen it done many, many times. Um, so it's just amazing to me that an internally stock, completely stock L61 made 142 horse at the tires, you know, with that kind of intake port on it. So as, as ugly as that is right now. So um, we're gonna do, I'm gonna finish up this 2.4 swap on the intake. Uh, we'll dyno it. I'm going to do a video when we dyno it here in a couple Fridays. So um, we'll let you know. Um, if anybody wants to chime in on anything, you know, like the video, message, comment, whatever you want to do. Uh, and uh, we'll let you know soon. So I got to finish this up before I run out of daylight. So uh, thanks, guys. Talk to you later.